Good day and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Neverhood. I'm Kaboos470 with you here as always, the Koopa Ninja Bros. And, um, <clears throat> let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hit that little button I hit, and it'll open up those spikes, and you will take an elevator down to the ground to find a button, a lever, and a disc. Most invigorating. So we're going to take the disc, of course, and you always want to push buttons, because buttons are your best friend in this game. Yes, buttons are very helpful, and almost all of them do something. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of them do, but you know, you're normally, when you hit them twice, then they don't do anything anymore, and you just turn them off. So don't hit that twice, otherwise you'll have to hit it a third time later on when you realize you messed up. And it will come into play later to open up another door. There's three buttons. I think that's the first one we've hit, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, there's three buttons, and that would be one of them, and you have to hit all three of them to open up the door. Now you want to turn off the lights, and I should mention that if you are playing this game, this is a game where you want a uh, pen and paper or pencil and paper with you at all times to write stuff down. Uh, now, I should let you know that this will always be random, but you're going to need to write down those, uh, those three shapes in uh, front of you, whatever they may be. Uh, and again, they'll come into play later, just like most of the stuff that you're going to be writing down. So, I mean, it's kind of a challenging game in that sense, because if you uh, are going into this completely clueless, um, then you would have, you know, no idea that you're going to need to memorize all any of that or remember it or anything. Now, make sure that you uh, hit the button to close the spikes up again, because you're going to need to uh, use a different set of spikes at a different time, and those that button happens to activate the same pair of spikes uh, that you'll need later. So, uh, we're going to leave the Hall of Records. I'm pretty sure we'll never have to return here again. Huzzah, that's always a good thing, because the Hall of Records is a long hallway, which is long. You know, so you don't really want to spend too much time in it. Especially uh, when you really, 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 really don't care about the backstory of the game. <laughs> like most people that probably played this game. Uh, I am doubt there's many... I, I'm doubt... I doubt there's many people that have actually, you know, read word for word everything that's on that on that wall. I doubt there's many people that have that much patience, because that's like a friggin' novel. Uh, so, now we're gonna go into a new section of the game, which is, uh, well, in just a new area. As you can see, you wanna make note of that match up there, that'll, uh, be important later. They'll be getting, picking that up later, I should say. And we're gonna leave this room, and there's a few things you can do in here. Um, there'll be more that you can do later on in the game, but as of right now, uh, there's like, I think there's two or three things you can do here, so, you know, we'll, we'll get all those done now. Uh, this is of no importance, but this is a mulberry bush, and, uh, Clayman's kinda hungry, so, uh, he's gonna go chomp down on a nice mulberry bush and eat it like, uh, the professor eats that, excuse me, professor eats that pea for, you know, like ten seconds. <laughs> Except he burps. Uh, now, there's actually three different animations for this. They're all initially the same, but the burp is longer. Uh, and I didn't click it the third time because the burp is just too long and I could use the time in a, a lot easier way. But I mean, you know, just continuously play this sound over your head. For like, you know, two minutes and you'll be good. Now, I find it kind of funny that there's that, uh, if you look closely when I was, uh, doing that animation of me, of, uh, Clayman eating the, uh, the mulberry... You know, you see this why in the background, like, the game is questioning the reason that you decided to sit here and watch Clayman burp as he eats a mulberry. I find that kind of funny. I, I doubt that was intentional, but, you know. Uh, also, I just opened that up and pushed the button to let the uh, water flow of that Tyrant, or not the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Triceratops. And uh, you definitely want to do that, because that's also important, just like everything else in this game that you will see. Uh... I wonder what this doohickey could do. Let's click on it. Okay, that was different. Don't know what that was. Uh, but, ooh, look! A little toaster box kind of thing. I wonder what it could be. Ooh, is, is it a jack-in-the-box? Claiming mad! Do 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 do. <laughs> He's so happy. Ah, what the hell is this? Where's the where's the weasel? I don't see a weasel. What? Hmm? Oh god! There is the weasel. Hello, weasel. You are big and scary and red. 
screen. All that fun stuff. Time to run. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is very, you know, kind of classic-y, you know, cartoonish chase. I find it very entertaining. I think I, like, put, like, three clips of it in my, uh, my trailer. And, of course, it gets the fruit in the eye. Of course, it's all very entertaining. It's, it's all for the good of the clan and the good of the audience and the good of, the good of mankind. Yes. The Neverhood Chronicles is good for mankind. And the best part of this entire chase scene is coming up right now. <laughs> he just keeps running into the door. Well, not the door, that's what he keeps missing. He just closes it. And then, oh, nice and comfy. Or so you think, bum bum bum. Oh god. It's going to eat me. What are you gonna do, Clayman? What? PUNCH! Punch it right in the face. Or poke it in the eye, whatever. You know, whatever. Now you'd think this thing could at least fit, you know, in the doorway, but he doesn't. So now as you can see, uh, the match is falling, so we're gonna pick that up. So you see dynamite, dynamite over there. But again, that'll come into play later. Not much later, actually, right now. And just to prove to you, um, you basically, there's only one way you can lose in this game, and I'll show you that later. Uh, but you basically can't lose this game. If you want to click on this, anything with a mini puzzle, you just, anything with like a mini quick at the end is uh, dynamite, so you want to get that over onto the body uh, to make the entire little clean model out of uh, dynamite instead of a uh, mold. Or mold, why did I say mold, a dud. So it's going to break, and then you're just going to click on that and pop out the uh, recently picked up map, light it on your foot, and have it, you know, light on fire. So, you know, just push that over there to the, uh, big old monster. And this is pretty, uh, j like, cliche, except for the fact that the Neverhood doesn't care about its creatures. And so, um, well, let's just say we're about to have quite a mess. And Clayman knows what's going on. And he explodes, yes. And there's Willy! Hello, Willy! And there's the arm. <laughs> I love that. That's so great. And then he's just like, oh, food! Well, now he's dead. No more weasel. Uh, yeah, right. I kind of forgot that you have to come back here. Uh, so this is the wall that the weasel broke, you know. So, you know, just make sure, don't, don't leave the, uh, room the way I did, you know, just turn back around where the mulberry bush is and stuff, and then come back here to a big, uh, hollowed out foot cart thing. And you want to come down the circle, and here's another button. So, you know, you, you have a pretty wide range, uh, that you can click to, uh, you know, get him around. It's not like you have to make a bunch of short clicks to get him there. I mean, obviously, that's not something that's very annoying, in my opinion. Uh, but then again, I didn't mind the sailing in Wind Waker at all, and apparently, uh, I'm out of my mind for that. Because <laughs> apparently that's awful. No one likes sailing a boat. So, push the button. It's gonna make a nice foghorn sound. And we will be on our merry way. Out of, whoops, wrong click. Out of the, uh, swirly, swirly track. Riding on our hollowed out foot. Uh, is that like a dinosaur foot or something? I don't know. But it's got spikes out of it. It's like a spiky cart. A spark. No, a spark. That's what I was going to say, but then I added a K for some reason. I don't know where the K came from. But it arrived, and we cannot be bad guests, and or bad hosts, and have our guests leave because they were not supposed to be here. Now, on this side, there's a dead end. I might as well just show you it. You'll be able to ride somewhere later, but as of right now, again, you can't, because that's the majority of the beginning of this game. I'll show you this now, but you're going to have to wait to learn uh, what it does, or be able to use it, or go in a specific area. It's just, everything is, you know, happening later. The majority of the stuff happens actually near the end of the game. Uh, that's when basically everything opens up, and uh, you just got complete free range and no restrictions. And you can see that nice tall building. We will be going up there soon, I believe. And we're just gonna walk back to the exit. Now I don't, I I don't know if some of you while you're watching this are gonna get annoyed with me actually walking everywhere, but I don't really want to cut much out because. I don't know, I mean, that's kind of part of the game, is just, you know, walking everywhere, it's it's a point-and-click adventure game, I mean, you can't really expect it to be nice and fast-paced and just boom, 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 
Uh, you know, so, I mean... Oh, whoops, mic fell. Ah, I hate this mic. This mic is so obnoxious. Um, but yeah, we're back here. And, yeah, I know what we're doing next already. Uh, but we won't have time to do that now. But there's a hair cave. I don't know if it's squiggles or hair. I like to call think of it as hair. And, um... So, now there's another, uh, Triceratops, and we're gonna stomp on this button. Stomp. And there's some water, and we're gonna pop out our glass. I'm gonna take a nice swig of this water. That's some refreshing water, if you ask me. And you'll learn what that button and all those tubes are gonna do in the next episode. I'm Caboose47 with you here, as always, with the Koopa Ninja Bros. Adios.